our legacy, our history in Brooklyn and Queens started from one gift. When you make a choice to help a person who is struggling, you change the world. Because the impact does not stop with you. It lasts for generations. Every day the foundation is keeping hope alive in Brooklyn and Queens. You have a part to play in the story. And the beauty of what we do is that you can help your neighbor. There are thousands of stories. This is just one. Coming back to my roots. My dad passed away at a young age. Catholic education was so important to him. And my family struggled to make sure that I could continue to grow the way my father would have wanted me to. It was really the foundation of my education through the diocese that really helped me get to where I am today. I live here alone. My son, I love this school. All my guys say I want to go to the San Marcos school. I work very hard for him because he's my life. I want to be where I am today if it wasn't for the foundation that was given to me. There's goodness, there's hope. It's all around you. And people are keeping that hope alive. When Rocco brought home some of the materials from Tom Flood and Alive and Hope, um, it really hit home for me. It's, um, it's about Brooklyn, it's about giving back to a community, it's about parochial schools, and it's, it goes to the core. If we can continue that dream for children in Brooklyn to go to the schools that we loved so much, that's important to us. If I can make that same impact, then that's what I want to do. You, you see the future that it's creating. We don't know each other, but we connected. So we might not know the faces, meet the people we're giving to. Seeing that we've created an opportunity that may have not been there, that is the joy to me. As long as you give, and you give genuinely, because you never know the gift that you are to someone else. You can alter the life of a person. People pass each other on the street all the time and don't realize how very connected they are.